Okay, which of the following vitamins is most likely to be deficient in this patient? A four-year-old girl is brought to the pediatrician by her parents due to the history of greasy, foul-smelling stools. Um, that is, and she has been treated in a failure thrive. She has a multiple hist history of multiple respiration respiratory infections and has been treated on with antibiotics on several occasions. Her growth chart shows that she is the that her weight is below the fifth percentile. What of the following vitamins is most likely to be deficient? Okay, so this is interesting to me because. When I see greasy, foul-smelling stools and failure to thrive, I'm thinking that she just can't absorb fat-soluble vitamins. And the fat-soluble vitamins are A, D, E, and K. And so I don't know if that's what's supposed to be saying here. It's just because she has multiple history of respiratory infections. Well, nothing here is... Well, let me see. No history of greasy, foul-smelling diarrhea. Okay. B6 is going to be like... So B1 is going to be like... Like obviously we're Nikki's or um, not we're yeah we're Nikki's but like the Berry Berry syndrome so mm -hmm. no I'm gonna say D I think D is just the right answer here vitamin oh, D vitamin D yeah okay gotcha final answer yeah I'll probably go with that yeah for sure right so you you you're um I think you're picking up on kind of um part of taking tests or doing questions is kind of you know sometimes it's like not clear sometimes you're reading it it's like what are they asking here right and so you got to kind of fit it with the clinical picture it's like greasy foul smelling stool meaning that fat absorption is really bad but also probably has some immunodeficiencies here so um actually in this particular patient you're thinking about you know pancreatic issues and in a young girl then you might be thinking oh yes yeah, so fibrosis. yep yeah CF, oh my gosh right? yeah yeah, a little bit of cystic fibrosis, meaning you have issues with fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. Um, I would say this is a second to third order question, depending on how you view it. So this is a very, very difficult question, meaning it's a uh, you you are definitely on the right track, kind of um, looking at this as a whole. This is one of the harder questions for sure, right? Because you got to figure out what's going on. You got to figure out that she has CF, and then after you figure out she has CF, that she's uh, you know why is that cause you know fatty stools and then after that you have to connect that with um, a d e and k which are fat soluble vitamins so this is one of your harder questions on step one for sure so good